Hi, and welcome to this video demonstration on the Lindell 80 series. The Lindell 80 series consists of two plugins, the Lindell 80 channel and the Lindell 80 bus. The channel is a full-blown channel strip and the Lindell 80 bus, which is utilized on buses and master channels. As you can see from the layout, it's a very familiar classic analog console. First, let's take a look at the 80 channel. The meters display input signal, output signal, gain reduction for compression and gate independently. And you can also set the internal calibration, which changes the way the console will saturate and clip. More on this later. THD controls the amount of harmonic distortion on the console, with the middle position corresponding to normal behavior. You can use the input stage preamp creatively by adding coloration to your sound. And gain compensate your volume, click the Unity button, dial up your preamp to get that nice coloration and maintain a consistent signal on the output. Moving on from the preamp stage, here you have two EQ modules which come in very handy. You have the classic British console EQ module which consists of a high shelf, mid band, and low shelf with a low cut filter. But when you engage the 84 EQ mode, this gives you three frequency selections on the high shelf, a high Q for the mid band, and an additional high cut filter. Notice that the filters can be bypassed independent from the EQ module. To the right is where all the fun is with the compressor. This embeds a musical style internal sidechain EQ filter to ensure you get classic fat sounding compression on drums, vocals, or anything you put through it. This also includes the nuke mode, which is a way of spanking your signal and giving you more grit for your money. Let's check that out on the drums. We'll set our mix control to dry, engage nuke, use the fastest recovery mode, two to one ratio, and get about a six to nine dB of gain reduction. Here we go. If you want more bite on your drums, engage the fast attack and a higher ratio. Fortunately for the built-in parallel compression, you can compress as much as you want and bleed in some of the dry signal. The gate works as expected with two modes, gate and expansion. You can also invert the signal so you can only hear the peaks. Adjust the range, which will be displayed here by the right side of the meter. On any instance of the Lindell channel, you can use TMT technology provided by Brainworks, which models the real life electronic components on analog consoles. You can randomize each channel individually or hit random all and you'll get a nice fuller sounding mix without any of the other modules engaged. As you can see, this works on the 80 bus as well. So let's hear this song from the top and let's hear what the console emulation sounds like. I'll play the song, disengage all instances of the 80 channel and bus and activate them.
Now that you're familiar with the song, let's do some real life processing on the lead vocals. We'll use the new compression mode for aggressive compression, dial it back a bit later, engage the filters to remove some of the rumble on the low end, clean up the low mids, and give it a little presence with the EQ. Let's check it out. Wherever I look, I see pain around every corner, fighting with each other, and that ain't good. Wherever I look, I see fear on all their faces in all the different places around the world. The people everywhere mm, are looking for direction. They can't fight off the infection of all of this hate. So what we're gonna do to heal the wounds from fighting, we need to start deciding where we go from here. Promote the passion from deep inside your soul. Empower your brother to be a better person. We're rising up because we've had enough of the hate that divides us. We're standing up, not giving up. Hold each other up, arms back together in love. In addition to the classic analog console emulation, which is 100% faithful and believable. You have additional options in the user menu, such as calibration. Calibration changes the internal operation of the console, so it can saturate and clip accordingly. A lower number, such as minus 20 dB, will give you less headroom, and a higher number, such as minus 12 dB full scale, will give you more headroom and a cleaner tone. The oversampling mode helps to reduce aliasing with higher oversampling, you're gonna get better quality, especially for rendering offline, but it's gonna tax your CPU a little bit more. The noise can be engaged or disengaged, and the internal clipping can be set to hard or soft. The user interface can be scaled down to 70% if you wanna run multiple instances on a laptop, or if you wanna impress your friends with your 4K display, simply crank it up to 100%. Likewise, you can engage external comp for the sidechain and for the external gate sidechain. Furthermore, with the 80 bus channel, you can use it to add saturation on your buses or your main mix. Let's isolate the drums and drive a little bit of input signal and saturation distortion to the bus. First, we'll set our calibration to minus 20, so we have less headroom and more crunch, and we'll adjust input trim to add gain into the bus channel. Also, you can create a little bit of saturation using THD. If you want to go extreme, you can definitely crank up the input trim, THD, and the console trim. Subtlety is the key here. The Lindell 80 series is exclusively available by Plugin Alliance. To download your free trial, go to pluginalliance.com and test drive it on your own sessions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you again real soon.